Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Mike from Mike Art Photography and today I'm going to teach you how to retouch an indoor portrait using Adobe Photoshop. So uh, this is our after and this is our before. You can zoom in and see the difference. This is our before and this is our after. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, thank you. So we are going to start. I'm going to delete my edits. Now, the first things first, when you are editing a studio portrait, what you want to do, you want to duplicate the background layer. You duplicate it and name it tones. Okay. Then you'll, you'll duplicate the new layer again and name it, name it textures. Okay. So frequency separation is separating the tones, that is the color from the textures, that is the these pimples and the feel of her skin. So what you're going to do, we are going to make the textures layer invisible and we'll select the tones layer. Then I'll zoom in a little bit so that I can see the details on her face. So I want the textures, once I've done editing, to be around... I think this region should be fine all over her face. So I'll go to the filter and I'll go to blur, Gaussian blur. So here I'll just reduce it all the way to zero. Since I've identified I want the final image to the final textures to be around that of this region, I'm going to increase this slider until the texture, the texture around this region starts to disappear. So I'll I just increase it, I'll check it from here and also from here. You can see it is almost disappearing but not yet. So around there it has disappeared. Make sure you don't go over but just when it starts disappearing and you can say OK. So next we'll click on the textures layer and we'll make it visible. Then we are going to image apply image. So what's happening here, we want to subtract the tones from the textures. We'll go to the layer, select the tones, and the blending mode will select subtract. We are subtracting the tones from the textures. So make sure the values here are 2 and 125 always, and the opacity is at 100. This is an unwritten rule. Just make sure it is like this. Then we'll say OK. So you'll come here to the blending mode for the textures layer and you'll say linear light. <coughs> so you can, if you see, if you look at this image, you'll find that it looks as if nothing has happened to it, but actually something is happening. So next we start our frequency separation. We'll click on the tones layer. We'll select the lasso tool. Okay, so make sure, just make sure the feather is at 18 or I'll use 18 in my case and I'll start selecting the area around her cheeks. So I'll just select it that way. Then I'll go to filter, blur, and I'll go to Gaussian blur. So I will play around with this slider. You can see if I increase it, something is happening around here. Just watch this region. You can see something is happening. If I go all the way up to there, the image looks very patched. So we want to make sure that you don't overdo it. For me, I like playing around with a value that is not more than 20 pixels because once you cross the 20 pixels, the image starts looking like a doll. So I'll use 19.4 and I'll say OK. And I'll select this other cheek. Okay, and then I'll go to filter. Since we are repeating the same step, I'll just click up here, Gaussian blur. Okay, that's it. And then I'll I'll select her forehead. Don't worry if the selection is not very fine because the feather we chose, 18 pixels, is there too. Is there to correct that for you? So I'll click on filter again. And I'll click on Gaussian Blur. You can see it's already starting to look uh, beautiful. We continue below her chin. Filter, 
the ocean blur. I'll also select the area above her lips. Just make sure you select every part of her skin. And I'll do filter the ocean blur as well. I'll select the region above her eyes. I'll go to filter Gaussian blur. Also the this other eye and just select. And I'll go to filter Gaussian blur. I'll select the ridge of her nose. I'll do the same. So I'll keep doing this. So up to that up to that point, I think I'm done with her face. We can go to her neck. So on areas like her chest, you can see it's very flat. You can always feel free to do it multiple times if you are not getting the result you don't want. I don't want to select this necklace. So sorry for that. I'll select one side of her chest and I'll click on there. Okay. I'll keep doing that again and again. Filter Gaussian blur. So I'm done with her chest. I can go to her hands. So if you are still watching up to this point, please like this video and make sure you subscribe. Thank you. So, yeah, yes. Uh, her shoulder bled. Remember, the selection doesn't have to be perfect because our feather here will take care of it for us. So, now I'm going to do the selection on her fingers. So um, I'm done editing her skin. It's soft. You can see if you look here, you can see that you can see that this was our before, and now this is our after. So the next step we are going to do, uh, she doesn't have so many pimples, but I'm just going to. Actually, she doesn't have any pimples. Yeah, but if you want to learn how to remove the pimples, you can check my previous tutorial on skin retouching. So I'm going to whiten her teeth. How am I going to do that? I'll create a black and white adjustment layer by clicking here and select black and white. So um, I'll just close here and I'll invert the layer by clicking Control and I. And I'll click on the brush. Make sure it, the hardness of the brush is at 0% and the size you can increase or decrease. Make sure it's not bigger than any of her teeth. So for mine, that should be fine. Um, so you'll select the color here. Make sure it's white and you're going to paint over her teeth. So it's white here. Okay. I'm going to paint over her teeth. Uh, this is the best way to make the teeth look white. There are so many tutorials here on YouTube whereby you are taught to whiten teeth, but this is the best I show you. So we'll do the same to her eyes. Just paint over the whites of her eyes. It makes a difference to whiten the teeth and eyes. So Always make sure you do it because you can see there's a difference. Let me zoom in. Uh, this is the before and this is the after. So now the final step in our editing, I want to sharpen the overall image. I want to select all the layers. I'll hold down CTRL and select all the layers except the background layer. And I'll drag them down to form a group. And I can and I can, I can leave the name of the group that way for now. I'll right click on the group to duplicate it. And I'll name the duplicate group sharpening. So once I've done that, 
I'm going to merge the group to become a layer. I'll go to layer and I'll merge group. So once I've done that, I'm going also to the filter, other pipers. So here I'm going to adjust this slider to a point whereby we can only see the outline of her eyes, the outline of the details that we want to be sharp. For me, I want the brows, the eyes to be sharp, the edges of her, of her face. So I just reduce it until I can barely see the edges, the outline of her face and features. So I think for me, uh, 2.4 works for me, so I'll say okay. Then I'll go to the blending mode and I'll select uh, overlay. Remember, if you use linear light, it will be too sharp, as you can see here. If you use vivid light, it will be a bit. So in you have the overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light. From this point to this point, make sure you use the overlay. It's the best. And if it's too much, you can always reduce the opacity to yeah so i have uh, this is the before sharpening and this is the after sharpening i can still add it inside that group so that we can see everything we've done to this image you can see this was our image and now this is our image so thank you guys for watching make sure you're subscribed thank you very much